you're passionate about Africa, and For you, real? you always you've always had uh, the Africa. Uh, lessons on, 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 on your program. For real. Let's look at what's happening on the continent right now. Riots, yeah. riots in Khartoum, the capital of Sudan, xenophobia in South Africa, Algeria, uh, presidents resigning here and there. Are Africans finally at a time where they are standing up and, and saying that enough is enough? Yeah. I mean, it's long overdue. Africans have been taken for a ride for all this while. Something happened in France. The place bent down. Historical place, beautiful. We need to rebuild it. Yeah. An African president not goes dumb, out right? there, yes, <laughs> to go and donate so much money when his own people are in crisis. That's See? Really, really and sad. so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And I think that some of these things have to be addressed. Mm -hmm. Look at what is happening in Rwanda. Rwanda came out from a very nasty massacre. Mm -hmm. And Rwanda is rising. Mm -hmm. We never had any such things. Mm -hmm. We are still where we are. Mm -hmm. We need to come together as Africans. It's sad. Europeans go to South Africa with no visa. Yeah. They enter there for free. But I need a visa to enter into South Africa. In the days of apartheid, I fought for South Africa to be free. Mm -hmm. Today I go to South Africa, I shoot a video for my video, for my uh, poem. Mm -hmm. And a South African actor mm -hmm. is sacked from his work because he featured in a black rasta poem against xenophobia. Wow. Oh, yes. That's sad. That's it. And presently, it's ongoing. That's Justice for Holani Ntombela. That's, that's the name of the actor. That's really sad. It's sad. I go to South Africa, I sit in a taxi, and then I'm talking to the taxi driver. Oh, why these xenophobic attacks? And you should hear the garbage from his mouth. The foreigners are taking everything that we have here, all the bag of money that we get, they take it away and all that. We will kill them. We'll kill them like that. And you are looking at the man. I ask him, have you killed somebody before? I say, well, now I stop. I say, how many people have you killed so far? Oh, if I'm not wrong, like, uh, like a little above 100. And, uh, That's a taxi driver? A taxi driver. Wow. A little above 100. And this guy is about 35. If at 35 he has killed about 35 people. people, he's not a soldier, he's not a militia, then you can imagine how many these militia have been killed. That's really sad. It's sad. And, well, we look at that and we smile, but, you know, there are times that we should have smiling faces and times that we should have, mm. I mean, serious faces. It's mm. sad in South Africa. Yeah, really. And our brethren there are not doing us any good at all. Mm. Yes, if they continue doing this, I wonder what is going to become of South Africa and what is going to become of Africa. Yeah, man. Well, 